What they're trying to get is what's called a marketable title. On page 123, I want you to look real quick. Marketable title is one because I could have sold that through a bargain and sale deed to him, but he wouldn't pay me market value. I want market value as an investor. So I want to elevate to a general warranty deed because I want to create what's called a marketable title, which does not disclose serious defects or not depend on doubtful question of law or fact to prove its validity, does not expose the purchaser to the hazard of litigation or threaten the quiet enjoyment, and convinces a reasonably well-informed and prudent purchaser acting on business principles and with the knowledge of the facts and their legal significance that the purchaser could sell or mortgage the property at a later time. If you squint your eyes sideways, you will see in marketable title is the definition of a general warranty deed. Quiet enjoyment, further assurance, warranty forever. So to get marketable title, I want, or to get general warranty deed, I need marketable title. That's how I will get the highest value. And I can sell that on the open market. Now there are several ways to prove you have ownership. Okay? The certificate of title is not a guarantee of ownership. Certificate of title is kind of like a deed insofar it's a snapshot of that particular moment. So if I'm carrying around a snapshot, it's kind of like me carrying my picture when I was 20 and go, yeah, look, I'm thin. No, I was then, not now, all right? Different now. Downtown the other day and a cop ran up to me and said, break it up. You'll get it later. <laughs> so a certificate of title does prove that there was title insurance at a particular given time. Now, title insurance actually comes in two different sides. There is the owner's policy and there is a buyer's policy. Both sides of the policy represent or protect the buyer. Right? Even though the seller says, I own it, that's covenant of session, it still protects the buyer, if you think about it, because that means the buyer's making an actual valid purchase. So all of them, both sides protect the buyer, but the lender's policy it protects the lender to make sure that they get first lien position. Typically, lender's policy is paid for by the buyer because he brings the lender to the deal. If, there's, if it's a cash deal, sometimes there is no lender's policy because you don't have to prove they get first lien since there is no lien going on, all right? The owner's policy is the one that says, I own the property and I'll remove the liens and all those other things. Typically, the seller to pay lender's uh, owner's policy. So the typical split in the real world is what I just said. Seller to pay owner's policy, buyer to pay lender's policy. Now, you can negotiate that either way and make them one pay all or all pay one, but typically, lender is paid for by the buyer, seller pays the owner's policy, okay? Both of them cover the buyer in the long run. Now, here's the difference between the policies. And on the screen here, I'm going to use this because I spent a whole bunch of time making this look really pretty to see if I could do it. So I'm going to do it for the online people. See if this works out right. No, that didn't work out right. I'm going to put regular insurance, and what I mean by regular insurance, I mean like health insurance, car insurance, life insurance, as opposed to title insurance. Regular insurance in, has includes monthly regular payments, right? I pay my car insurance every month. Title insurance is only paid once. It's paid at the closing table. And yes, it's still called a premium, just like your health insurance has premiums. How much do you pay every month? That's your premium. Title insurance has a premium as well. But it's paid only one time, and it's paid at closing. Here's the biggest difference. Most regular insurance is forward thinking, meaning it's going to protect you for things you're going to do in the future, like wreck your car. Well, I didn't use it this month but I'll play it again for next month, 
or I didn't get sick, so I didn't need my health insurance. It's forward thinking. Whereas title insurance is historical. It only solves things that happened already in the past that are just now catching up to us. Like the Sears did it in 78, and now they're coming. Title insurance that I bought on my house the other day has nothing to do with any mistake I make on that house in the future. That will pop up in the next sale. All right? So title insurance is historical in nature. And because of that, regular insurance is subjected to almost infinity losses. If you get health insurance and catch cancer, which I don't think that's the right way to say that, but I don't know, they could potentially pay out hundreds of thousands of dollars for your treatments. Title insurance is limited to the face value of the policy. You have a $100,000 house, you buy a $100,000 title insurance policy, the worst they're going to pay off is $100,000. Nothing more. So they have a limited exposure insofar as it's whatever it is. And just like regular insurance, though, the premium is based on the value of a house. You buy a million-dollar house, the title insurance is higher than if you bought a $100,000 house. Just like if you got a million dollar life insurance policy is more than a hundred thousand dollar life insurance policy. It's the same, that is the same. So the policy premium is based on the value of the uh, of whatever you're doing. Right? So one last thing here. This works really well with some of the international students. You guys ever go to a bar and they ask for your ID and you show them your passport? Why would you show your passport? Why not? How can you, how you are allowed to show a passport? Why does that count? No. Yeah, but, but why? Because you showed ID down here to get a passport, right? I don't have to show my driver's license. I can show my passport. Why? Because I used my driver's license to get my passport. So I can say, oh, this works as ID because I had this. There is a system out there called the Torrens system, which is a database registration of home ownership. Indiana does not use this. Illinois does. And they create this little thing called a certificate, a Torrens certificate. So someone can go, oh, I own the house. Here's my Torrens certificate. And in order to get that, you had to have the title insurance policy. So they must have title insurance because they got this. If you got a passport, you had to have ID because you used the ID to get the passport. <laughs> if you got a torn certificate, you have to have title insurance because the title insurance is what's required to get the torn certificate. All it does is a database of ownership of properties. We don't use it. Illinois uses it. Only about 11 states use this now. All right? It's called a torn certificate. Now, one of the last things before we end this and we beat it up, but I just want to touch it again. Once again, not to confuse you, Holly, it's the car issue. You, the deed only shows transfer at that time. We record it to show there was a transfer so we can follow that chain. But true ownership is held by holding the insurance policy. Because that policy that Chavez has was written by an insurance company who did all of the search and found out there was no problems, and they're going to back up my statements so what are the odds that Chavez really owns this? Probably pretty good because you've got an insurance company backing it up. So to show ownership, the best is the title insurance policy. That's the best thing. So you want to tell your clients, they go, well, I got the deed. To that. I don't really care about the deed. What you really want to keep is the title insurance policy. Keep your hands on that so that way if there's ever a question, you can pull up and say, hey, there's an insurance company, Conestoga, out there that says I'm the owner because here's the policy. And they wrote me a policy that, so you, I'm the owner. Unlike the car where we go, I got a policy because I own the car. I own the house because I got a policy. It's 180 degree different. Any questions? Nada? All right, the end of chapter eight.